this week I received this package from my brother and inside of it I think are some earmuffs from the Bear Dynamic DT1770 Pros that he has. He also sent me a couple notes and a nice doodle. Um, he says that he wants to adapt these earmuffs to a set of III TMA2 Studio Wireless headphones that he recently bought. Um, he says that the TMA2's earmuffs are just a little bit too small and he likes the way that these fit. So we will open up the package, pull out the earmuffs, and then we'll go over the doodle that he sent. Inside the package are the two earmuffs, and it looks like it has the frame for the DT1770s. What are these called? Foam discs with new structure replacement foam usable for the most DT headphones. Okay, uh, I think these just cover the driver so that they don't get dirty and protect them a little bit better. So we can set these to the side and pull out one of the frames. His doodle says that the TMA2 mounting system has four pegs that stick out that are four millimeters in diameter that have a five millimeter ball on them. The entire length is about eight millimeters. The thickness of the plastic is two millimeters. He also gives me a couple of diameters. The diameter on the TMA's driver is 50 millimeters. So the opening on the adapter, this diameter, this diameter needs to go down to 50 millimeters. He says they fit inside of a 70 millimeter diameter on the headsets. And then he says that this is 100 millimeters. So I can get all the dimensions I need off of this for the earmuffs. And then I can use this drawing to come up with the rest of the design that go into the TMA-2s. His last note is that he thinks that these are a little bit too flat, so he would like to have like a nine millimeter offset. So if you're looking at the plane, this is where the earmuffs mount. He wants, he wants the back of the adapter where it goes into the TMA-2s to be nine millimeters offset, which I think I can handle that. So we will shift over to my computer and start modeling this up in Inventor.
the design done, I've already sent it over to the Formlabs 3. So all I have to do is press the print button and we are on our way. See you on the other side. And a few hours later, both prints are done. And they look pretty good. I was a little bit hard on one with the brush after printing. So you can see some marks on it, but they look great. The last thing I need to do to these is to clean up this outside edge. Technically, I should clean up the inside edge as well because there's a little bit of a raft. But I realized that little edge holds the foam pad in perfectly. Cups it just a little bit so it sticks away from the ear, doesn't stick out too far on the sides. So I'm going to leave that. So have a little bit of sandpaper, gonna clean out this outside edge, and then we will slide all these together. And then we're heading up to New York to deliver them to my brother. Pop in foam piece one, pop in foam piece two, and then find a notch, put one side in, one side out, and twist. Your pieces are done. Now off to New York. 